physical properties of ketone ketones are generally a colorless volatile liquid soluble in water by its polar nature as you can see this is the colorless form of the ketone and it is when added in water it is very much soluble as you can all see here skiff's reagent acetone resembles acetaldehyde in many reactions especially reactions due to the ch3c double bond o group acetone is not easily oxidized hence it does not reduce tollens reagents and felling solution this is the tollens reagent and the right one the brownish red is known as the felling solution so therefore acetone does not restore the color of skiff's reagent if we add skiff's reagent to the aldehyde we obtain this violet color whereas if we add ketone we obtain a colorless liquid chemical properties of ketones strong oxidizing agents like sulfuric acid potassium dichromate oxidizes acetone to acetic acid Acetone can also be reduced to isopropyl alcohol as we can see here by sodium amalgam and water or even lithium aluminum hydride that is LiAlH4 Lithium aluminum hydride donates this hydrogen ion as a nucleophile and this attacks this double bond here thus we get two moles of hydrogen attack here therefore we get CHOH as a product thus we obtain isopropyl alcohol and this is the chain step reaction here this h minus ion attacks this carbon and this double bond shifts as a lone pair to this oxygen therefore this oxygen would obtain a minus sign and this hydrogen forms a covalent bond with this carbon atom when it is hydrolyzed using h2o it forms isopropyl alcohol Clemson's reduction or Wolff-Kirchner reduction converts acetone to propane. Acetone when reacted in the presence of zinc, mercury or HCl it forms propane. That is because this HCl here attacks this carbon and forms a CH2 bond here and this O goes out with two hydrogen atoms forming water as the byproduct. Haloform reaction Haloform reactions are generally done for the compounds having and CH3CHOH- or CH3CO group undergoes haloform reactions For example let us take acetone as it contains CHOH group when it is reacted with 3 moles of chlorine we obtain trichloroacetone and 3 moles of hydrochloric acid it undergoes halogenation at alpha carbon atom in the presence of NaOH chloroform is formed acetone undergoes addition reaction with HCN or even by NaHSO3 and RMGX and condensation with NH2OH or NH2NH2 which is a famous compound known as hydrazine and further on it also goes addition reaction with phenyl hydrazine and semicarboxide for example we have acetone here and hydrogen cyanide reacting with each other thus this cn replaces this double bond and forms a bond here and this hydrogen attacks this o minus present to form oh bond similarly when acetone is reacting with hydrazine it forms acetone hydrazone acetone with ammonia it forms an addition product because when this ammonia is made to react with acetone this NH2 
attacks this double bond and this double bond character leaves. Therefore, it forms diacetone amine. As we already saw, acetone with chloroform also forms an addition product. When acetone is made to react with chloroform, that is HCCl3 in the presence of potassium hydroxide, this Cl3 attacks this double bond again and OH, this hydrogen also attacks this oxygen to form an OH bond. This CCl3 now joins this carbon atom to form chloroton. Acetone with dihydrogen chloride, first it forms mesethyl oxide and then phoron. This reaction follows aldol type condensation followed by dehydration. In this example, we can see acetone reacting with aldol in the presence of dihydrochloric acid. Therefore, the water molecule is removed from these compounds, thus forming 4 methyl pentriene to own. And a similar reaction here can be seen in the formation of phoron. In the presence of concentrated hydrochloric acid, three molecules of acetone condense to give mesetylene, that is 1,3,5 trimethylbenzene. This acetone, when reacted with concentrated H2SO4, forms an aromatic compound and water as a byproduct. 